So in the last lesson, we styled the top section and we have this section to work on in this uh, lesson. Okay, so this is the section we're working on the header and we have the navigation to also style. In our HTML, we need to target our header. Uh, within the header, we have our H1. So we can do that by saying, go into header and find uh, the H1 child uh, like this. Uh, curly brackets and we basically want to give it a font family um, the same font family as we have on line 8 so you can copy it and paste it um, if you want so it's Arial we we'll default to serif so now H1 uh, we'll give it a font uh, size something uh, big uh, 83 pixels uh, we do and we also want to give it a, a color of red uh, if we reset we can see our font is is getting there, it has a lot of default values I've applied to it. Um, we could change that by uh, giving a margin uh, 5 pixels, so we're saying the top is 5 pixels and the left uh, and right is 0 pixels. So top and bottom is 5, left and right is 0. Okay, so that's, um, that's reduced the margins uh, for us. Okay, so if we go back into uh, H1, uh, we'll give it a font weight, uh, 300, okay, just 300, and uh, reset, so we can see it fits in. If yours doesn't fit in, uh, play about with the, the font size a little bit. Okay, so down below we have our navigation to target. Uh, so if we go into our style, um, CSS, okay, so the navigation is basically just uh, the nav, uh, we could give it a, uh, a border uh, for the top of our navigation. Uh, give this a one pixel and you can type this hexadecimal value AD, AD, AD and solid. Okay, copy this uh, line, Control C, Command C, paste and uh, border for the bottom of it is the same color. Okay, so if we reset, it gives us these two lines, top and bottom of our margin. Okay, so we have uh, the space inside our navigation, top and bottom, to reconcile. So we could say padding, uh, 6 pixels for top and bottom, and 0 pixel for left and right. Okay, so that will give us some space in there. So if we reset, we have that there. So there's some default values being applied, which we could um, get rid of uh, very shortly. So if we go into... Uh, system we want to target our UL elements okay within that this LI and uh, we want to remove the style the default style um, being applied to it so if we go into our navigation we say find the UL inside you and we want to say list style uh, should be none so if we save that and we reset we can see the bullet points have gone and we also want our text uh, to be aligned to the center. Okay, so we say text align center. Uh, so that brings us here. But you notice it's not quite in the center yet. Okay, so that's default style still being applied to our UL. So we could change that by uh, giving a margin uh, zero pixel and a padding of zero pixel all round. So if we reset, okay, we could see uh, it's now more centered. All right, so um, we need to give it a font family. So let's go ahead and copy uh, this font family from here and we could paste it here. Now we have the, the font size, we'll make it into 15 pixels. We'll give it a color. Uh, the color is hashtag uh, 4B9CBE, okay? So that gives us a color. If we check it, we can see the color is as we want it. All right, so the next uh, style we need to apply to it is uh, pretty much just making it in line, making it straight, okay? So, so let's first do the font weight as opposed to something smaller, slightly smaller, uh, 500 uh, would do. And we can uh, see how we can target our LIs to make it in line on the straight line. So in our index, within our UL, we have 
uh, L eyes, uh, which by default is being displayed uh, for us um, vertically. So we could say target the L I and display it inline like that. Okay, so this is what it gives us. Okay, there's some there's some pipes you can see that pipes in between um, each word. So we need to add a pipe just after each li. So what we do, we could copy this, uh, paste it below here, and we say after, uh, so after the li's basically, um, the content should be a pipe. So you enter it like this, and we still want it to be displayed in line block, just in line actually, just in line. Okay, so if we save what we've done and we reset, we can see we have our pipes there, but we need to have some spacing applied to them as well. So over here, we could say, uh, we could add a margin left and margin right to the, to the pipe. So it's a margin left, uh, it's five pixels. Uh, we could say um, margin uh, right uh, is also five pixels. So that will give us a space on the left and right um, of each pipe as we have. We don't need uh, we don't need the last one. So we could get rid of the last one. So let's go ahead, uh, copy this here. So we could target uh, the last li child. So we do that by saying um, li last child. Okay, so we we'll basically want to say after. So we're saying after the last li child, okay. Uh, we want the content uh, to be nothing. Okay, so uh, that will remove the last pipe uh, that we had over there. So this gives us our navigation uh, uh, pretty much sorted out for us. Uh, we have it. We have it there. We've dealt with um, the header and the navigation side of our document, and this is what it looks like. Um, in the next session, we'll be styling the left. Um, and right side of our document and uh, seeing how to use sections. So I'll see you uh, in the next lesson.